Here's how to see who's connected to your Wi-Fi router. Now, if you suspect maybe a neighbor or somebody else may be connecting to your Wi-Fi network and you wanna check that and make sure they're, they're not, and if they are, you wanna boot them, I'll show you how to do it. So let's hop into the settings. You can do this on your iPhone, Android, a computer, it doesn't matter. Now, what we're gonna do is go to the Wi-Fi here, and then you can see I'm connected to my Wi-Fi. I'm gonna tap that little I right next to it. And what I'm gonna do is scroll down and go to the router IP address. So I'm gonna tap and hold on that and hit copy. Now, if I hop out here and go to a web browser and I can just hit paste and go, this will take me directly to my router where I can see all of the devices that are connected to it. Keep in mind, a lot of times routers do have apps that'll show you every single device. So you could always find what the brand or model of that device is, that router, and you can download the app associated with it. But this always works and this is a bit quicker and doesn't basically require you to download and install an app. Now on here, you can see home network devices, it shows all of these. I can hit this more info right here. I'm using AT&T fiber internet, so this will look different depending on what Wi-Fi router you have. But here you can see I can zoom in and I can see all of the different devices that are connected to these. So you can see at the very top Sonos. So I have a couple of Sonos speakers, so you'll see those on the list. Basically, you can scroll through this entire big long list and see if there's any that you don't recognize. A lot of these are old devices that are no longer connected. Any of these that have that Wi-Fi signal, you can see those are current ones that are currently connected to my Wi-Fi. So go through all of these and check to see if there are any that you don't recognize. Of course, if you don't recognize any on here, you can always go to the very top here, depending on, again, on your router specifically. But if I just go back to device here, you can see it gives me the ability to change that password. So once this loads here, I can tap on this password, click here for details, and that will allow me to basically just enter in the access code for my router, and I can easily change the password so that it boots everyone else off that might be neighbors, other people that I don't want to be on my Wi-Fi router. Hope this helps. If you have any questions on that, leave them in the comments down below, and I'll catch you on the next one.